The majority of Australians want closer ties with China, but believe it poses a military threat. New polling from the Lowy Institute has revealed significant shifts in views on our biggest trading partner and concerns about possible conflict. More military drills and missile tests in the South China Sea this week won't calm Australians' increasing concerns about China's threat. The Lowy Institute's annual survey gauged attitudes on foreign threats and global challenges. 64% of those polled see a military clash between the United States and China over Taiwan as a threat to Australia's vital interests. It rated second highest behind the threat of cyber attacks and ahead of North Korea's nuclear arsenal. Compared to five years ago, trust, confidence and warmth towards China and its leader Xi Jinping still remain very low. If the United States went to war with China, 42% of those polled say Australia should support the US. 56% say we should stay neutral. It is the same split regarding support to send Australians to fight for Taiwan. 42% support, 56% oppose. According to the poll, 83% back Prime Minister Anthony Albanese's foreign diplomacy. And 89% don't trust Chinese President Xi Jinping. The majority of Australians believe China will pose a military threat to Australia in the future, though there has been a slight uptick in those who instead see China as an economic partner. While there is overwhelming support for Australian military aid to Ukraine, as well as the AUKUS submarine deal and the Australian-US alliance, yet three quarters of Australians think the relationship makes it more likely Australia will be drawn into a war in Asia. So I think that speaks perhaps to a sense that more capability is a good thing, but when it comes to the actual act of playing Australia directly into a conflict between two superpowers, Australians are a lot more wary. Wary of war, despite welcoming the apparent diplomatic thaw. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News in Taipei.